Hello there. Just wanted to share a quick tip on how to control swing speed on this base model Usha Janome uh, machine using a fan regulator. So once everything is set up, uh, you can easily control the speed. Let me give a demonstration and then I'll walk you through how, uh, other things. So right now I have everything plugged in. Uh, the circuit is going through this phone regulator and then to this uh, speed pedal and then to the machine and now I can actually control the speed of the machine given the pressure applied so let's see so I can actually apply a little bit pressure and then it goes slowly I can apply more pressure and go faster and if I go all the way this is the maximum speed at this uh, at this regulator uh, node that I have selected however let me show you what happens if I don't have this regulator so I'm gonna plug this speed pedal directly into the electric socket and see now it doesn't really matter how much pressure I apply it's gonna go it's gonna assume the speed which which by by default and this is what it does I have no control maybe just a little bit control but even this is a little bit too much for me to control my projects and uh, it's usually a little nerve-wracking uh, to s go through a project in final stages at this speed um, so um, I really get nervous therefore what I've done here I've taken a simple uh, fan regulator this is uh, this kind of, this is used to control fan speed and I have wired it I'll show you how I wired it and then after that wiring when I <coughs> when I uh, plug in the speed pedal I have much more control over the speed like I showed you before and and, and you know I can select another speed if I want to go faster uh, so now it's going to going again going faster I can decrease this I can rotate the dial anti-clockwise and then it's gonna go a little slower like this I can actually go even slower but that's uh, you know bottom line is I can control the speed uh, now let me show you how I actually do that uh, I'm gonna take apart this wiring and walk you through what's in there so for now I'm gonna pause it so I've taken apart uh, the circuitry this is actually pretty simple uh, these are the two wires that come out of that regulator um, so I have taken this white wire it's going so one of the white wire is directly going through into this female socket and the other white wire it goes through this regulator it doesn't really matter which one you select uh, so you can choose one randomly wire one into the female socket and channel the other wire through this uh, through the wires of the socket it doesn't matter which one so i have randomly taken this red wire select connecting it to this one and then other red wire is connecting to the outgoing and this goes into this female uh, socket and then you just put it back like this and it's ready to go you plug in your speed pedal into this and you can now control the speed of your sewing machine uh, which actually is this speed control feature is only available into top end machine but with this circuitry you can actually have a base model um, have this functionality and choose a speed do you liking you can do higher or you can do lower like that wonderful all right so now time for disclaimer so i've just done this without any electrical or engineering knowledge so i'm not 100 percent sure if this is uh, reducing the life of my motor in this uh, sewing machine or it's fine I, I actually don't know but for now i can control the speed of my sewing and work on my projects uh, with more confidence
Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.